If you have an Android phone, <laughs> red flag. <laughs> you have an Android? No. Just nice. Sound like you're 12. Why? <laughs> I'm, that, that's a common thing. A lot of people. I, I know, know a lot of women sound like they're 12 so when they true. say that. So I don't true. know something about Android phone. Just throws like, me like off. You would give up somebody that who who might be the love of your life. Android phone. That's crazy. Oh, that's so nice. That's so wholesome. Let's pray for America. Yes, I can absolutely support that. That's a great bumper sticker, man. Oh my God. You threw the decal booty cheeks over the wholesome statement. Which came first, audience? What do you guys think? Which came first, the statement or the booty cheeks? Which one am I screwing tonight? Did these women know that that was going to be the caption to this post? I'm going to go out of my way and guess that most likely they thought this dude was just taking a nice picture. But alas, the picture morphed into this dude's desperate plea for some female attention. Somebody needs to go to the funny farm. Somebody needs to live inside of the padded bedroom because what is this, bro? Why are we putting school shooters on our rib cage? Why are we doing that? Somebody please explain to me this behavior. Where does it come from? How do we prevent it? And how do we eliminate it? And you know what's the saddest thing about all of this is that there's an actual tattoo artist who took some money and put this on somebody's body. Somebody out there with no conscience, with no morals. Somebody out there who's just greedy, who wants a dime, who's willing to put anything on somebody's body. No. There's some times where you gotta say no to the dollar for the sake of the universe. Oh my god, why is she covered in so many tattoos? And truly, I don't know what's worse. Putting a nude hentai decal on your truck or putting said nude hentai decal over your window. Like, I'm genuinely asking because this is just terrible. It took me way too long to realize that she was naked. The areolas on this character <laughs> are so big that at a glance it looks like she's wearing like a top it's certainly a sight to behold it truly boggles the mind it boggles the brain cells that there's a grown man out there driving a truck through school zones with a hentai decal with bright pink areolas and no panties bro the f who is this message for my man i can't think of a soul who would read this on your back and then not you know, question reality. And no, it's not a good last minute gift. It's the cliche last minute gift. That girl did not think about you on your birthday, bro. So she's gonna dome you up. But no, not for this bipedal baboon. Not only does he look forward to last minute cranium, but he thinks the act is worth celebrating and putting on a shirt. How does this behavior not count as begging? How is this not panhandling? Because if it wasn't your birthday, you would be homeless. But because it's your birthday, I guess you have the right to ask people for money? And you don't feel bad about that? You don't feel gross about that? You don't feel a little slimy, a little grimy? Cause that's how I'd feel. That's how anybody who's sensible would feel. And that's what's preventing them from doing stuff like this. Bang local MILFs, my other ride is your mom. I got fisted on meth at an ICP concert. You know what? I have really nothing negative to say about this one because all of the behaviors are permissible. She's a fan of the insane clown posse. Of course she smokes meth. What I'm confused about is the MILFs. What's the story about the local MILFs? Where did you get this decal from? <laughs> Who sold this to you? And oh my God, I didn't even notice it, bro. Look at that license plate. Dude, don't hawk. <laughs> my homegirl selling burritos. Let me know if you want to order run. Burritos? Yeah, those are a nice treat. I would love to. Oh my God, that's her operation? I can't believe you really took a picture of this moment and thought it was worth sharing with the world. Your homegirl is preparing food on the floor with her toes out. Her toes are out in the atmosphere, contaminating everything. Are you serious? Those burritos will hospitalize someone, man. What the f***? If someone helps me with like 50 to $60, I'll literally meet up when my son goes to sleep. Meet up to do what? Huh? What you doing for $60? I feel sorry for whatever man responded to that Snapchat right there, because whatever she's selling for $60 is gonna leave you with something if you're catching what I'm throwing, all right? Because ain't no way, ain't no way everything's okay for $60. All I'm saying is that when you wake up in the morning, bro, you're gonna be pissing out razor blades. I wanna say thanks for Rachel for showing up today. Rachel was an amazing model to do photo shoots with. She even gave me a BJ on the way to the photo shoot destination. She sure did. And uh, that bottom left-hand corner 
She doesn't look like she's happy to do it, bro. It looks like you guys did this just to promote her OnlyFans and whatever thing you guys were shooting. And he posted this onto Facebook. I was unaware that that was the go-to place to advertise the OnlyFans. I really wish the blatant advertising was the worst thing about this post. The worst thing is that while he was getting head, he somehow had hover hands. Yes, you heard right. This man was nervous to touch the girl who was apparently giving him head in the car. Couple charged after allegedly feeding baby meth. You know what? I believe you. We don't need evidence. They look like the type. They look greasy and dirty and the type to feed a child meth. They certainly have the loadout for it. I mean, especially her. What is that haircut? I'm only paying for what's on the check. I'm not splitting the bill, Shawty. That's crazy. You expect us to split the bill? Is, you got lamb chop. You got steak. You got some Look at all that. Look at what all they got. They talking about splitting the bill. What did you come out for? Yeah, what did you come out for? We come together. We split the bill. My thing is, y'all doing too much. Y'all doing way too much. We didn't order all that. Everyone, everyone, I just need your attention right now, please. Please do not feed the whores drugs. We have been telling you guys this the whole night. Now they're all crazy. We tried to make sure they stayed in the whore zone. Now they're running away and, and touching people with their whore hands. Look, I don't know if it's illegal for you to bring a fly swatter onto a plane, but maybe somebody out there who's watching this video right now, maybe you should try. If you can figure out how to sneak that onto a plane and then slap somebody's toes for the rest of us, you know, just wind it back bring that shoulder back maybe even dislocate the shoulder a little bit you want as much leverage as possible wham just you got to do it you got to do it because we have to set an example for grimy people everywhere that this behavior is intolerable now for those of you out there who haven't experienced this or think that they won't experience this because they fly really nice airlines i want you to guess which plane this photo was taken in it wasn't american airlines it wasn't southwest it wasn't even spirit the person who took this photo was flying to dubai this is emirates man when your mom kicks you out of the house thanks a lot family my ass dude are you okay if you need a place to crash you can stay here i'll message you later bro and thanks for having my back i'm just so pissed off because my family are meant to have my back but they don't I kicked you out of the house because your little sister is pregnant and you are the father. You are a disgrace. And after I respond to this silly status, I'm blocking you off Facebook and you're never allowed back in my home again. How can you even have the audacity to post this? You're not even my son anymore. You're f dead to me. I'm disgusted with you. Whoa. All right, before we get to the next portion of this post, maybe we need to you know, process that statement process what we just heard digest it okay is everybody ready because it's gonna get so much worse mom do you realize how you've made me feel you have just <laughs> outed all of our personal shit into the open and you think that's okay <laughs> you i don't even care if i'm dead to you what happened is between jesse and i and we explained everything that happened you should have had my back you're meant to be my mom and you're treating me like a criminal you are a criminal you committed incest and not to mention your little sister is oh my god oh no no, my God, you have ruined this family. You have ruined your sister's life. And I don't care if the whole world sees this status because you don't deserve any sympathy. I wish I never gave birth to you. Jesus, imagine just stumbling across this post. Imagine stumbling across this thread on Facebook, knowing everybody who's talking, knowing everyone because you're a friend or whatever, right? Jesus, dude. This has got to be the worst post on r slash trashy by far. How come there's always one common feature in every single grimy bedroom post? Ketchup. Warm ketchup. Room temperature, non-refrigerated, old ketchup always makes an appearance. Oh my god, it makes sense because you're a crackhead. That's why. Am I the only one who plays find the crack slash meth pipe? Yes. You are the only one. And I know for certain you didn't find it because can you find anything of use in that room? The only thing that I can identify is shoes, dirt, and ketchup. Would you believe me if I told you that this hurting for a squirting tattoo features a very big breasted Pikachu getting <laughs> by a muscular squirtle? Because that's exactly what's happening. Oh my God. And whoever tattooed this piece of modern art has skill bro like everything is anatomical everything is correct and it's weird that anatomical human bodies are on pokemon bro i have never seen a rectangular prism ass before bro 
What is happening? How does it sit like that? Genuinely, bro, I've never seen cantilevered ass cheeks. It's weird. Where's the structure? It ain't gonna spank itself? Yeah, I believe you. I don't know anybody on the planet who would volunteer. Well, actually, I'm lying. I can think of one person, to be honest. Stepson of billionaire killed on Titan sub that imploded is upset about not being able to get laid despite inheritance. If I was in this man's position and had access to the wealth that he has access to, Batman himself would not be able to beat that confession out of me. You're trying to tell me that nobody wants to get with you, bro? Even though you have all of this money? This dude must be so ugly and so annoying that even gold diggers don't want a piece. And that very fact would never leave my lips, bro. I would never, ever admit that to a soul, let alone on the internet. What's up everybody, it's your boy Aileris, aka Panda Daddy, and I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, let me know in the comments down below, and leave a like if you liked the video, and if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe fam, what you doing watching videos and not subscribing, and if you're old, make sure to hit that bell so you get these notifications every time. Go ahead and check out the community tab, because there's another content poll for next week, so if you want to put in your two cents, if you want to have control over the future, go ahead and take a look at that poll and vote on the video that you want to see. And as always, you gotta thank the Patreon supporters that make content like this possible. Possible. A big thank you to my Zoom, Tristan, Damspool, Tori, Sleepy Dragon, Ducky Aiden Loves Aileris, Dr. Mambo, Power Lover, Sherry Morrison, Tron Destroy 23, The Eggs One, Fitz Chilvery, Din Corda, Co Connor Purvis, Aileris' Mom, S16, Squish, Rin Hex, Rare Days, Mr. Bean, My Golden Experience, James Tucker, Big Boy Bailey, BMX30, Cinnamon Sticks, Scott, The Fake Musician, Buckethead, Samantha Bellhart, Admin Vanneker, Zach F, Bloody Hunter, Keeley, Dundernass Hawk, Lady Laughs A Lot, Swift Patreon user, and Noah. Thank you so much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want to help support the channel, there's two links in the description. One of my merch store and one of my Patreon. Both funds go directly into the channel so we can maintain what's happening here. And as always, stay zesty.